Philosophy is that discipline dealing with the most fundamental questions about existence in general and human existence. Some of the major philosophical questions are these. Why is there something rather than nothing? Why is there being or existence at all? And also, why are things the way they are? Given that we're in a cosmos, why is it ordered the way that it is? Why does it manifest the properties, the apparent laws that it does? UCD School of Philosophy is the largest and most diverse department of philosophy in the island of Ireland. Most students do philosophy because of the love of the subject, but in these tough times, of course, it's natural for students and their parents to worry about jobs. In fact, the sort of skills that philosophy offers, skills such as critical thinking, skills such as problem solving, skills such as organizing and uh, uh, categorizing a whole range of ideas and data. These are the skills that employers are looking for. You can even apply philosophy to the supermarket. For example, when I go into a supermarket, I'm already being oriented or controlled in a certain way. I'm sent down certain aisles, they rearrange the packaging because they're already psychologically manipulating the way I look at things, what I have to look at. So philosophical critique, philosophically going under the world of apparent common sense, can be applied to anything, even a visit to a supermarket. Philosophy is an inquiry. Philosophy is asking questions. Uh, there's all sorts of questions you can ask from the profound uh, to the not so profound. But if you, if you go back to ancient Greek philosophy, uh, back to Socrates, who would, you could argue is, is the father of modern philosophy to a degree, all Socrates did was that he would wander around uh, squares and have conversations with people and he would just ask the question, why? Why do you think that? And when you, the person answered that question, he would say, but why do you think that? And you just drill down and drill down and drill down into systems of thought. I suppose from a very young age, I was very conscious of things that were going on in the world that I didn't like, that there was a lot of conflict in the world, that there was a lot of unfairness in the world. And so I knew from a very early age that I wanted to be in the middle of that that I wanted to be, I was very drawn to problems and trying to sort them out. And despite the fact that philosophy isn't on the Leaving Cert course, if you've good teachers, and I was lucky to have great teachers at home in Wexford, you have a sense of that history of thought and that thinking and reflecting is part of fixing things. It's not just about shouting, it's not just about getting into the thick of a scrap. There's a number of philosophy graduates working in Amnesty and as an employer now, as someone who recruits, if I see philosophy on a degree I'm say, or on a CV that comes into me, I'm very keen to meet that person because if they've done it right and they've spent the time, then they have really tried to expand their own critical capacity. One of the most distinctive things about UCD is how well represented all the different forms or schools of philosophy are. It's well known for having a really strong continental department, but there's also brilliant analytic teachers, there's really good ancient scholars. So I think like it's difficult to find a college where you'd have such a broad representation and a, and a strong representation of all the different schools of philosophy. You can learn from excellent teachers a whole range of different uh, schools of, of philosophical thought, which is really important. We disagree on many fundamental issues, myself and my colleagues, but the point is we all agree about how to approach these issues, how to argue without resorting to mere opinion, without resort, resorting to the loudest voice and so on and so forth. If you're going to learn something, why not learn about the substratum and the basis of, of all kind of learning and all academia?